Hi everyone, this is Baiju Vasudev and welcome back to my channel, Bye Bye Me. Today we are going to solve the most recent Jan 2021 Pure Math 2 paper. This paper consists of 10 questions. Question number 1. f of x equals x to the power 4 plus ax cube minus 3x squared plus bx plus 5 where a and b are constants. When f of x is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 4. Part A, show that a plus b equals minus 1. The question carries 2 marks. So you are given a function. When the function is divided by this linear factor, the remainder is 4. So they want you to prove that a plus b is minus 1. So by we are going to apply the remainder theorem. If f of x is divided by x plus 1, First take x plus 1 is equal to 0 and find x, our x is minus 1. Replace x by minus 1 in this function, then you will get the remainder. You don't need to use the long division method. So when we find f of minus 1, the remainder is 4. So that's what given. So we are going to replace x by minus 1 in this function. So minus 1 to the power 4 plus a minus 1 whole cube minus 3 minus 1 whole square b times minus 1 plus 5 is 4. So when you simplify this, you'll get this equation. This is 1. You'll get uh, 1 minus 1 whole cube is minus 1. So minus a minus 1 whole square is positive 1. So minus 3 minus b plus 5 equals 4. So you will get minus a minus b equal 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 goes to the other side. 4 minus 3 is 1. So multiply everything, the whole equation by minus. So you will get a plus b is equal to minus 1. That's our part a. That's it. Very simple. You need to know the remainder theorem. The remainder theorem says when a function f of x is divided by ax plus b, a linear factor ax, AX plus b. Then the remainder of uh, f of x will be f of minus b upon a. That's our remainder theorem. So use the theorem here. If it is divided by x plus 1, replace x by minus 1. So you will get the remainder 4. So use that information to process r. Uh, to obtain this equation, a plus b equals minus 1. Now part b, when f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is minus 23. Find the value of a and b. The question carries 4 marks. Here, we are dividing this function by another linear factor, x minus 2. So when we divide, the remainder is uh, minus 23. And they want you to find the value of a and b. So what we are going to do, this is the equation that we got in part A. We are going to form another equation in A and B using this information. Then solve the simultaneous equation so you can get the values of A and B. So if x minus 2 is a factor, x y, uh, sorry, uh, if f of x is divided by x minus 2, replace x by 2 here. So f of 2 will give you the remainder minus 23. So replace x by 2 here, 2 to the power 4, which is 16, 2 square is 4, 16, plus 2 cubed times 8 is 8, 8, 2 square is 4, 4 threes are 12, 2 times b plus 5 equals minus 23. Simplify this, we we'll get 8a plus 2b equals, we have 16 minus 12 is 4 plus 5, 9. So minus 23 minus 9 is minus 32. Maybe you can divide everything by 2. 4a plus b equals minus 16. Take it as equation 2. This is our equation 1. Solve these two equations. You can easily get the value of a and b. So our a is minus 5. a is minus 5 and b equals 4. That's it. So if you want to solve this, first thing you need to learn the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. 
the remainder theorem is if a function divided by f of x plus x minus 2, the remainder, remainder is f of 2. The factor theorem is if x minus 2 is a factor of this function, so f of 2 will be 0. That's the factor theorem. I need to know the difference between factor theorem and the remainder theorem. 